I was watching this video in my car for some reason. And this 20 year old girl is telling me all the ways that I can make money online. And then as she smiles and assures me that I can change my life, I notice something that seems innocent, even encouraging. But in fact, I had found the precise tell that this was a scam. Not a way for me to make money, but a way for her to make money off of me. It's well rehearsed and well hidden and encouragement and smiles. But I spotted the scam. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to spot it too. Now, if you're on YouTube much, you will run across a host of channels and YouTubers that want to share all kinds of financial advice with you from ways to make a few extra bucks to how you can become fabulously wealthy. Now, the problem is, that most of these videos are mere sensationalized entertainment at best and straight up scams at worst. To understand the scams, you need to understand how YouTubers make their money. Three basic ways. The first one is we make money with ad revenue. It means we get a little tiny bit of money every time you watch an ad. That means every time you watch a video. So a lot of YouTubers, especially in the financial space, are going to make these crazy claims and flash big numbers just to get people to watch, get more views, and thus more ad revenue. The other big way to make money on YouTube is with affiliate links. Now, these are the links usually down in the description that go to some product, and when you buy it, we make a tiny little cut off of that. Now, similar to this, but a little bit different, is brand sponsorships. Now, you've seen these. It's when in the middle of a video, the whoever's doing it, the YouTuber, breaks off to tell you all about the merits of their sponsor. Which reminds me that today's sponsor is Green Pepper. Green Peppers are fantastic. And if you link in the description to buy one, I'll make a ton of money. Now ad revenue, affiliate links, and sponsorship deals are not inherently scammy. YouTubers work super hard making all these free videos and we basically get paid nothing in the beginning and very little after that. I've been doing this for six months and I have earned exactly $18.56. Not too shabby. Now I've got affiliate links in my descriptions, mostly Amazon, because if you click through them and buy absolutely anything and everyone's always buying stuff there, then I get a cut of whatever it is you buy, not just whatever it is I'm trying to sell you. And I think it's ethical as long as I don't use my whole video to try and trick you into buying whatever it is I put a link to down in the description. I don't want you to buy something useless. I just want you to buy socks. Good wool socks from Vermont. The problem is when the sponsorship deal or affiliate link is just the whole point of the video, then you're just being lied to. I saw another video from the same girl all about these vague concepts that are supposed to be the keys to getting rich. She wants you to believe in yourself and she's sure that you're going to make it if you just try. She says, if you need to read a book, you'll read the damn book. If you need to take a course, you'll take that course. And then she pivots to her sponsor, a platform for online courses. The whole video was just an ad to get people ready for that product. Will these courses help anybody get rich? Who knows? But what we do know is that she'll get paid every time somebody signs up for one. And that was the whole point of the whole thing. So one of the biggest tells is when a YouTuber tells you that you need some outside help or product or service, something that you have to pay for and that they've got a link to in the description of their video. This should set off alarm bells because if they are selling something, they are getting paid. And that means the video is now just an ad with the sole purpose of getting you amped up to buy a product. And this brings me back to the video that I was watching in the car. In that video, she was talking about low content books as a side hustle. Now, if you don't know what low content books are, it's basically where you design covers for journals or planners and some service, usually Amazon, will print them on demand and sell them. So you basically have to do nothing but 
upload the design and then you get some tiny cut every time they get sold. Now maybe some people have made some money on this, but when you're competing with AI, people from poor countries that can do it just as well as you can, uh, and everybody else watching this video of hers, I think it's unlikely that anybody's getting rich off of this. And it sounds like a lot of work for not a lot of payback. Anyway, the girl in the video is walking you through how to do it. How she did it, supposedly. And surprise, there's an app that will make it easier for you. It's a paying app, but if you use the link in the description, you'll get a deal. Now, up until this point, I'm like, okay, this is a stupid way to try and make money. But if people want to try, why not? And it's interesting. I didn't know that this was a thing that existed in the world. So there you go. But then she says, you might not get results right away, but I want you to stick with it for at least three months. Now, remember the app that she suggested you should go and pay for? Well, that's a monthly subscription. So the longer that you stick with it, the more she makes in commissions. And that was when I realized how many videos are just elaborate scams to get you to buy something so that a YouTuber can make their slice. And I realized that they would have you waste real money so that they can make just a small percentage. There are basically three kinds of people that make it on YouTube. Introverts, storytellers, and salesmen. You know the introverts. They're the ones that use themselves for all the characters in their videos because it's easier than talking to or finding another person. Oh yeah, I've seen that. YouTube is kind of made for introverts. I mean, think about it. Who else is going to enjoy sitting alone in their home, talking to themselves for hours, and then going to sit at the computer for a couple hours to edit? And you've probably seen the storytellers. Those are the ones that you'll watch talk about just about anything, because they always make it interesting. Like this pepper. Did you know that peppers are green and tasty? And I once dated a pepper who was the president of Sweden. And that just leaves the salesmen and women. They're the ones that are always talking about passive income, which is way worse than get rich quick, because it's basically get rich just doing nothing. They're the ones that are convinced that jobs are for suckers, they throw around big numbers, and they seem to never pause or slow down or even breathe. which is weird. So are all YouTubers scammers? Of course not. I don't begrudge anybody for wanting to grow their channel or earn some money from all their hard work. Now, the way you spot the good ones is that they don't have anything to sell you. Their advice is practical and long-term and not a never-ending series of hustles. And of course it's not passive. No matter how you do it, making money takes work. Now that's the other big tell. You can't go from broke to rich with no work, no money, in no time. First you need to make money, and then you need to invest it or grow it somehow. Both of those things will take crazy amounts of work. Most people watch YouTube videos about making money because they want to be rich, magically get transported to a beach in Mexico with financial security. They don't want to get rich, which means work and learn, take risks and fail, rinse and repeat. Now, I'm not going to name check the YouTuber that I think was being super scammy because she's just getting started and she's still learning. And in any case, this video isn't about outing scammy YouTubers, but to try and give you some insight to spot them for yourselves. I'm going to link to one of my favorite videos that I think gives some pretty sound advice here. If you want to watch me do a thing, that's here. That is the end of this video. You should go now. If you're still here, you should hit the like button and you can subscribe to see more of my videos. It is free and painless.